Hey folks, this is Gabe with Security Baron, and today I'm checking out a particularly robust password manager, Dashlane. In today's review of Dashlane Password Manager, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons, features, subscription options, customer support, and applications so you have all the information you need to make the right decision. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite password managers, Google Security Baron Best Password Managers. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Let's kick things off with Dashlane Password Manager, looking at the pros and cons, beginning with the pros. Now, it does have a free option, which lets you do up to 50 passwords. On top of that, it has one of the broadest feature sets for any password manager on the market with things like identity theft insurance and dark web scan. Now on the con side, it is based in New York, uh, right here in this uh, lovely city, but that makes it a part of various international surveillance alliances. On top of that, there is no support for multi-factor authentication, so you can't do things like fingerprint or face ID with Dashlane. So just something to think about when looking at Dashlane Password Manager. Now that we've gone over some of the pros and cons of Dashlane Password Manager, let's check out its feature set. Now, the main feature of any password manager is the ability to manage all of your passwords across accounts and also fill out some of those forms that we always have to fill out on the internet. So what's great about Dashlane is that it actually allows you to elect an emergency contact to give you access to Dashlane. So you can essentially make all of your passwords better and after that, have someone give you access in case you forget that master password, something that is not available on many of the other password managers out there. Now that you've got Dashlane Password Manager, you can either enter all of your usernames and passwords manually or import them through Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari on your Mac or Windows computer. From there, Dashlane will give each of your passwords a score, saying whether it's weak or strong. And from there, you can actually have Dashlane change all those passwords across accounts at the same time. Now, this is not something you'll see with every password manager, so it's something we especially love about Dashlane. Once all of your passwords are in order, they'll be synced across devices, and you can have two-factor authentication for your protection, so a numerical code will be sent to another device. We are a bit surprised that there's no multi-factor authentication, so there's not gonna be any facial recognition or fingerprint IDs um, with Dashlane Password Manager. Now, one thing we'll note is that they do have encryption of AES-256, and if you're worried about password cracking, they have Argon2 to protect you from that. And if you would like to share any of your passwords, you can do so securely in the Dashlane app. Looking at storage, with a premium Dashlane account, you can put all of your data into the Dashlane cloud, or you can desync that or unsync that or uncouple that and put everything on a local drive, as long as each individual file is less than 50 megabytes. Now, one thing we love about Dashlane is the fact that they have so many extra features. And one of those is receipt capture because of course, everyone loves shopping online. But while most password managers give you a digital wallet to help you fill out payment information pretty quickly, only Dashlane also has receipt capture to put all of your receipts into one easy to find folder. So that's one of the things we love about Dashlane. Another extra that comes with Dashlane Password Manager is inbox scan, because let's be honest, we've all been lazy, emailed a password or two to someone, and what it will do is ensure that those credentials aren't still in your inbox and able to be picked up by just anybody. Now, an upgraded version of inbox scan is something called the dark web scan. Now, the dark web is just uh, a place for a lot of illicit activity on the internet, so it's just a crime place. And if you want to make sure that your information and credentials aren't just readily accessible in this hotbed of a uh, usually criminal activity, um, you can just do a dark web scan with Dashlane to ensure your credentials aren't out there. However, I will note that the dark web scan is only currently available on the mobile application. Now, with Dashlane Password Manager, you can get a VPN with a premium account. So that VPN will hide all your web traffic and web activity, uh, just giving you another layer of protection. On top of that, you can get credit monitoring with a premium plus account. 
and that's done through TransUnion. So if anything changes with your credit report, they'll go ahead and send you a text alerting you to that fact. With that same Premium Plus account, you can get identity theft insurance, which will insure you against identity theft uh, into the millions of dollars and also provides you with the ability to restore your credit in case your identity is compromised. So those are some really great options with a super robust, well-equipped password manager, Dashlane. All right, hold on, quick break. I really hope you're enjoying our review of Dashlane Password Manager. And if you wanna be kept up to date on the newest in VPNs, smart connected objects, and all things inside of your connected home, subscribe to our channel. We're uploading new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Now that we've checked out the feature set for Dashlane Password Manager, let's check out the subscription options. Now, of course, you've got the free option with 50 passwords that it'll save for you, but let's look at what the premium accounts are. Now, one thing we wanna note is that with any account with Dashlane, you have to pay for in a complete annual subscription upfront. Now, it's not too bad. It's only about five bucks a month, actually, if you get the premium. That's with VPN, secure storage, and unlimited passwords. It's gonna be $59.88 a year. Now, if you want that premium plus, which of course adds that credit monitoring, the identity theft insurance, and identity uh, restoration service, it's gonna be $119.98 a year, or about 10 bucks a month. So not too bad, not too oppressive in terms of pricing. In addition to these individual plans, Dashlane Password Manager also offers business plans. And they basically break down to about $4 per user per month. And with these, you get two-factor authentication, secure password sharing, and smart spaces for work and personal data. So it's good to know that that is an option with the Dashlane plan, especially considering they do not offer any family plans. So let's jump into that customer support for Dashlane Password Manager. Now you can look at the online help center, send them an email seven days a week, or something that we don't expect with most password managers, live chat between nine and six on weekdays. And even in our own personal experience, we sent an email out and they gave us a really personable, quick, thoughtful, really long reply. Um, within a few hours. So we thought, oh, right, they seem to have things together when it comes to customer support. So that actually wasn't the case when it came to Google ratings. Google gave it a 2.9 out of five stars. And of the reviews that specifically mentioned customer support, all four were negative. But the caveat is all of those were talking about the lack of phone support, which honestly is something we haven't seen with a ton of password managers. And it does do better when it comes to Trustpilot. Dashlane gets four out of five stars with Trustpilot uh, with 1,500 plus reviews. Now, we didn't go through all of those reviews, but we did note that many of the ones that talked about customer support were pretty positive. So it seems to be a little bit of a mixed bag when it comes to customer support with the Dashlane Password Manager. Let's check out the applications for Dashlane Password Manager. Now, I started out by just downloading the Chrome browser extension because I tend to use Chrome. Now, one thing I'll note is that it does not autofill your usernames and passwords from Chrome in the manner in which it will do with Safari, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Now, I really felt that the entire process was pretty intuitive and straightforward, but I will note that there are some features that you can only access on the website and some you can only access on the app. Uh, so there's a little bit of a consistency issue there. But let's narrow it down and check out the mobile applications, which people seem to love. It has a 4.7 out of five star rating in the Google Play Store and a 4.6 out of five star rating in the Apple App Store. But let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone 10. Here I am checking out the Dashlane Password Manager. Now, it's a pretty straightforward app. If you look, I'm in the vault right now. I have passwords, secure notes, payments, personal info, and IDs. Now, if I look in passwords, you'll note that I put in a few of the passwords here. Um, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Gmail accounts, um, and even you know the yoga place I like to go to. Let's go ahead and check out um, where we can create new passwords inside of the app. So if I tap on the upper right-hand corner in the vault, uh, you go to plus, I can go, for example, to like my Amazon, and here I can add a password. 
So I can either generate one or I can add the password directly. So that's something useful um, for anyone trying to just create new passwords across the board. Because we note in this page here, it has LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, Amazon, Skype, Gmail, Outlook, eBay, just a host of websites. And you can just click in a new website right inside of the app and change your password. Pretty useful element um, with the vault. And here, if you tap in the vault itself, you'll see that you can search all items. If you tap on that plus sign in the upper right hand corner, you can add a password, add a note, add a payment type, add personal information, or add an ID. So that's all available right here in the vault. Now if I go ahead to secure notes, I can do various things related to my banking information, uh, finance, um, I can look at payments. If I want to add more payment details here, I could do so, various cards, uh, which is pretty useful. Now below that you have personal information, so personal info is definitely a useful thing to have here. And then finally, you can of course take uh, pictures of all your passports and ID numbers and keep all your originals safe at home. Now if we look in contacts, you can just go ahead and share any item securely with a friend or a family member or even a colleague. So if I wanted to share something uh, with anyone here at Security Baron, I could do so directly here. And you can of course set your friend or family member as a contact who can access your accounts in the event of an emergency. So be sure to get Dashlane on your computer for that process. Now, the tools are pretty cool. You got your identity dashboard, which gives you a, a password health breakdown, dark web monitoring, you have your VPN, Dashlane browser, password generator, password changer, and new device connector. But let's go ahead and check out the settings. Now, if you look in settings, you can change some of your settings. And while they don't have general um, face recognition, you can use your face ID, but we will note that they will periodically ask you for your master password, just for security reasons. So there are a lot of things that one can do with Dashlane Password Manager. All right, we've come the longest of ways with Dashlane Password Manager. And that kind of plays into whether or not it's right for you. I mean, there are just so many features that come with this very affordable password manager and really intuitive mobile application. I mean, it just really hits it each and every time uh, it goes for a new feature. Now, if you're someone who really wants multi-factor authentication or to not be inside of any international surveillance alliance, then sure, go check something else out. But I have to say that personally, I'm a pretty big fan of Dashlane and feel like it really hits the right notes for a beautiful password managing song. So that concludes our review of Dashlane Password Manager. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe at Security Baron. Be secure.